And welcome into A10 Media Day here on the campus of UMass with head coach Tori Verdi. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing well. Since your first day here, it has been a rebuilding process. And you've seen the gains incrementally over the past couple of the seasons. And last year with a historic winning streak and a really a solid stretch of basketball from your crew. What did you guys do last year? What did you establish for this program heading into this season? Well, you know, I, I think we became relevant. Teams didn't take us seriously. And um, and I understand the perspectives at that point in time. You know, it was just, you know, early on, there, there wasn't a lot of tradition, you know, a lot of history. And so we, we built something from ground zero. Now, you know, we know that, you know, the program is in a much better place. We're really excited, you know, with the personnel that we have in our program right now. But we made last year happen. And, um, you know, that's something that we got to continue to improve on. And so it was a lot of hard work, a lot of, you know, dedication. I think overall, um, you know, our expectations from a staff and, and from our players, we all understand that we're trying to continue to move this program and, and do something that's never been done before. And that's winning an A-10 championship. The size for this team, we saw it last year with Maeve Donnelly as a freshman and what she contributed. But before we talk about the size, I want to talk about maybe another one of those leaders that you have, Destiny Filoxi. She enters her third season. She there primarily running the point, doing what she does best, being able to penetrate. How does having some of those other pieces like Desiree, like Sam Breen, help Destiny control what you guys want to do? Well, I mean, you know, Destiny has played a lot of basketball for us. And so, you know, there's no question about it. I mean, she's going to be confident. And, um, you know, on any given night, I think, you know, any one of those players are going to have the opportunity to take over. You know, so we don't have to really rely on just one player to have a good game for us to win. Destiny, Desiree, those guys in the backcourt, you know, they're, they're going to be, you know, our catalyst and, and they're going to make us go as well. We want to push in transition. We want to get a ton of easy baskets. But... I think the one area where we're going to truly improve and continue to improve on is in the half court. You know, at some point in time, the ball is going to stop bouncing and it gets stuck in half court, especially later on, you know, going down the stretch into the 8-10, you know, uh, playoffs, you know. And, and so um, in order to win a championship, you got to be able to score in the half court. And I think that, you know, we have players who we can isolate, uh, go one-on-one, -on -one, go one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's in the post or out in the perimeter. Um, we have playmakers, and so I feel like we have all the pieces in place uh, to do something really special this year. We continue with A10 Media Day here from Amherst, and we've got UMass junior guard Destiny Filoxi. Destiny, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Tell me a little bit about some of the newer players and how you've been able to get them involved with the team so far. Um, I was already close with the newer players because when they came on their visits, they um. They seemed to like me, and I was I was really welcoming. So as when they first came, I treated them like they've been my teammates, and now they're just getting used to being on the court with me. I get to know them more and how good they are around the rim. So like, I'm just actually I'm chilling with them. They yeah. they good. You and this whole program took big strides last year. What is something that you're focused on for this upcoming season? Winning the chip. That's one thing I focus on, winning the chip. These last few years, we came close, but mm. I think I'm tired of coming close. I think it's time to actually get it done, especially as a junior. Um, for you yourself, when you look back at when you first got here and kind of where you are today, what have you improved at as a ball player? Uh, I was, the two top things is leadership and my jump shot. Those two things are, I feel like this is going to be um, a big help. So, especially my leadership as a junior guard coming in. My teammates actually believe me and they respect me. We have with us forward Sam Breen. Sam, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? Great. Glad to see you here. Mm -hmm. And this is sort of a unique situation for you in terms of the A-10 schedule because last year, that's all you played. You only yes. played half the season, the A-10 part of the season. Tell us a little bit about kind of sitting out that first half and the anticipation you had kind of leading into you actually getting on the court. Sitting the first half, definitely, it was tough, but it went a lot faster than I anticipated it going. I thought it was going to like drag out and I was just going to be super anxious to play and it ended up going like super quick and 
once I was like in practice and stuff, it just like flowed. And I think my first game was at Iona. So my first game, some jitters when I first got out there, definitely missed like a wide open right-handed layup. But after that, I think I was fine. Um, after that, the jitters were out and it was all good. I definitely played well with everyone a lot quicker than I anticipated just because I hadn't played in a game setting. So I think it went a lot better. And, you know, I know we've talked about this in pieces before, but recently it was announced that you've got at least another year of eligibility. So yes. this year and then another year. Um, what did that mean when you heard that news and, and how are you going to take that going forward? That was like the most exciting piece of news just because obviously with everything going on, this is like not necessarily a full season for us. And last year I didn't play a full season. So I was like really upset about potentially not playing full season here at UMass. Um, so when I got that news and I was trying not to get my hopes up and stuff. So when I got the news that it was approved, I don't know, it just like, Made my whole, I mean, 2020 has been not a great not year, a but that made news, my no. whole year. So, <laughs> And, uh, you know, lastly for you here, um, you guys had a great season last year, looking to build on that. Um, when you talk about goals with the coaching staff, you know, what, what are some of those that you guys have set your sights on this season? Definitely winning the A-10 championship. I think we absolutely have the potential to do that this year. We had the potential last year. Everyone being on the same page and staying consistent, I think, is going to be the key factors for that because we definitely have the talent to do so. Hoping to see it. Thanks, Sam. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, it's A10 Media Day from Amherst.